Hi everyone, Rob the Average Lawn Guy. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm posting another video and as promised, I'm going to shoot a video every time I do something to my lawn. Whether it's small or big or trivial, whatever the case is, there's a reason behind why I'm doing it and I'm going to share that with you today. Now because of the current state that we're in right now, in which the kids are crazy dog. The kids are home every day from school. Everything is on lockdown. So essentially we're in the backyard more. Fortunately we've had some good weather, 70, 80 degrees out here in Georgia, which is perfect. As fortunate as it is, we've had an influx of bugs lately. Now I just did a video on perimeter pest control in which I treated my foundation because I saw one or two bugs coming inside the house. So that's been taken care of. But now that we're outside enjoying the lawn, I need to take care of the bugs that's out here right now. So what I've already done is I've brought down my lawn down to 1.5 inches. That's the lowest I can go with the Eagle Power Mower. Now I'm not prepared to scalp yet. I plan to scalp next week. But until I do, I'm limited on the type of bug treatments I can do. You see, the best way to control bugs on your lawn is actually to spread out granular treatments all over your lawn. But the problem with granulars is that if I plan to scalp next week and I apply a granular today, it's going to be ineffective and I'm going to be wasting my money. So what I'm using today is actually a product from BioAdvance called Lawn Insect Killer. Hosan model. Covers just over 5,000 square foot. And the beauty about this product is that it will kill a lot of bugs on contact. And on top of that, it will give me a good two weeks of protection. That's just perfect in my situation. So if you're in the situation as I am right now, in which you haven't scalped yet, or you're about to scalp, but you still have to deal with bugs, Go ahead and use this product. It has worked wonders for me. I've used it for the past three years and I have nothing but good things about it. The only downside about it is that it doesn't have a long residual control. You'll get about a week or two of control. Now with this product, you'll end up killing a lot of different types of insect within 24 hours. And after that, you'll get a good residual, as I said, for two weeks. And the good thing about it is that I'm expecting rain tonight in the next four hours or so. So this product is rainproof within one hour. Now if I was alone, I would go ahead and spray this right now. But the issue I have is I have the kids inside right now and they like to come out in the backyard. And on top of that, I have the dog who ends up coming out pretty often just to lay on the lawn. So my plan is to actually do some night spraying. And the beauty about spraying at night is that you have all these bugs active at night. So this is the perfect time to catch them off guard and eradicate them at least in the short term. Now we're going to take a walk and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to spray and this will be my plan of attack. Now my first order of business is to tackle this shady side of the house. Every home has a shady side unless you live in a desert and this leads directly to the backyard. And the bad thing about the shady side of the home, lots of bugs like to stay here and hover around during the heat of the day. So once that's done, I'm going to tackle the wood lines next. This is prime shade area for all types of bugs back here, right behind the fence. So I'm going to go all the way down the fence and once I finish spraying that, I'm going to come back around and start at this end of the backyard and work my way back in a sweeping motion. And you can see I have the holes all lined up and ready. This way I don't have to worry about stepping in this too much. And as usual, you want to make sure you have appropriate protection equipment. You want long pants, long shirt, gloves. So like I said before, I have the holes extended all the way to the farthest part of the yard. I'm going to work my way back. And once I get the entire yard, I'm going to fall back, call it a night, and we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. All right, let's get to work. Now the first thing you want to do before you start spraying any hose end sprayer is to actually shake it up really well. Remember the chemicals may have settled and you want to shake it up well to get everything moving. And once you're ready, you just simply pop the tab and you're good to go.
day after the massacre. That's a moth. And I'll be doing a grub video pretty soon. Slow death. Alright, so we're a day after the spray. And right now I have not seen any bugs yet. Especially the flying bugs. I had problems with hornets starting to come in. I saw a few flies. I saw mosquitoes. So far so good. I'm gonna say this multiple times throughout the year. Anytime you're gonna spend an extended period of time in the lawn or if you're expecting to have a barbecue or any kind of big gathering, you do want to spray about two to three days in advance just to keep the bug population down. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to click on these videos right here for more tips on your lawn care. With that, thanks for watching. Take care.